a trio of Dragon's Den hopefuls introduced a range of goat's milk skincare products on the show, only to eventually have their investment request shut down. The family-run business had been seeking a £30,000 investment in return for a 10% stake, but the uncertain Dragon's warned it would need a total rebrand. That said, viewers of the BBC show were overjoyed as they watched the judges take up an opportunity to bottle feed an adorable goat. One Dragon, diary of a CEO podcaster Stephen Bartlett, looked particularly swept up in the moment, but he said his heart was telling him to make a different choice than his head. After he announced that his head had won, and the other dragons bowed out too, fuming Twitter users took to the app to share their disappointment. Gutted for the goat guys. I liked him a lot. Hashtag Dragon's Den, one fan lamented, out of all the ones that never get an investment I really feel these guys deserved one hashtag Dragon's Den, agreed another. This first business gets my goat. A third infused, adding sorry, not sorry over an attached meme of a goat bleating there. Goats from the gorge. Less, M. I'd give them £30,000. A fourth chimed in. However, Deborah Meaden declared she was a vegan, before retracting that and suggesting she was plant-based, and asked them if they could guarantee their products would be cruelty-free. Viewers were intrigued as they set out their case for a business, revealing they were already making a tidy profit, but wanted to expand further with the help of an investment. One of the trio explained had got the idea after being diagnosed with osteoporosis, and after some research, he discovered that the milk was also valuable for skin. It contains lactic acid to break down dead skin cells, and learning that prompted him to bring out a range of products including a soothing lip balm and goat's milk soap. Peter Jones was unconvinced, bluntly quizzing, why would I want to buy this? Before complaining that the product label didn't contain enough explanation about how goat milk could benefit buyers, the others agreed that a rebrand was needed, but they seemed positive about the future of the firm, despite all the investors giving the devastating verdict, im out.